right, class. Two days ago, we took a field trip to the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. Your assignment was to write a report on what you saw and how it affected you. Now, who wants to go first? Oh, wow. Okay, Brett, you're up. On the banks of the Ohio River stands the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. Just as the flame in its logo burns, it shines as a beacon for us today. The same way a lamp in the window showed the enslaved the way to safety. The Underground Railroad was not a subway train, but a network of people, both black and white, dedicated to fulfilling humanity's promise that all people have the right to live their lives free of chains. The abolitionists who risked their lives for freedom were so good at moving the enslaved from the south to the north that the slave hunters said it was like they were riding on an underground railroad. The name stuck and lives on to this day. The conductors on the Underground Railroad represent the best of what America stood for. Through their courage, cooperation, and perseverance, they fought a government-sanctioned system of tyranny for people who had been kidnapped from their homeland. The National Underground Railroad Freedom Center showed me that whether you're from Spain, India, or Berlin, you have a responsibility to ensure that everybody should be free. I've read in history books about the Berlin Wall being torn down and the German people being free for the first time to cross the border, but to see a piece of it at the Freedom Center and to learn how it ties in with the enslaved breaking their chains was very moving. I love to read, but no book has made the experience of America's triumph over slavery so real. As I walked through the exhibits or viewed the amazing, powerful films and animations in theaters, I was reminded of what Dr. King said, that everybody can be great because everybody can serve humanity. The Freedom Center opened my eyes to the fact that slavery still exists today. The permanent exhibit, Invisible, shows how many children my age and even younger are bought, sold, and shipped all around the world and made to do some of the worst things imaginable. It's hard to believe this goes on now, even in our own backyard and it made me want to do something about it. When I learned that the Dalai Lama himself had visited the exhibit and said that was a very important work, I was proud to be there. What impressed me was that you didn't have to live in Cincinnati to learn from it. They used modern technology so that students both nationally and internationally can learn the lessons of the Underground Railroad. I wondered if the enslaved and conductors ever imagined that one day, their exploits will be taught all over the world. What really impressed me was seeing all the families, children, aunts, uncles, grandparents, people of all backgrounds and races learning something that's not just African American history, but American history. The National Underground Railroad Freedom Center fans the flame of freedom in a ward in dinner hearts. I look forward to taking my children there one day and telling them this place represents the best of who we can be. In the end, I learned that the Freedom Train is still rolling. The conductors are still needed. Whether it's demonstrating peacefully against bullying or letting our communities know that the modern day slavery is present, with the tools we have today, we can let freedom ring all over the world just like the brave souls of the Underground Railroad. Well, it looks like our trip to the Freedom Center had quite an impact. Any questions? Brett. Miss Sterling, what made you take us there? I was doing some homework. Yes, I have to do it too. I was looking for a place that would not only educate, but touch our lives. There was a young man on the Freedom Center's website he said something very powerful after he had seen everything. It changed my whole look on slavery. I mean, it was really horrible that we sold other people as property. I never believed that we could get so off course from what we really should have been doing. 
I thought that if the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center could illuminate him that way, then I had to take you all there. Here's your assignment for tomorrow. Write down what this means to you. You can curse the darkness or light a candle. Yes. Can we go again? Absolutely. See you tomorrow. I know. No, I, I can't wait to go back down there. Oh, thank you, Jose. You're welcome. <laughs> See ya.